Hello and welcome to this first tutorial in LaTeX. And this tutorial series is going to go through the basic setups of how to use LaTeX for your report, assignments, and basically get yourself out of Word because it's a pain to set everything up in there. LaTeX, much easier. We're going to use Cialatec here. Um, this is an online editor, just like if you know Google Drive, you can collaborate in it with multiple people in the same document. There's a chat feature, there's a lot of stuff in here. So, go to shallotech.com, sign up, it's free. If you want to work multiple people, get some other plans. There's different pricing, it's very cheap. And um, you can uh, go look into this. I will start to log in. When you log in here, you can see your project page, which projects you have. Um, and there's uh, you can go up here to the right corner. There's different projects, different templates you can use. I have created a few uh, templates myself, but for this I'll start off just with a blank project. And let's call it tutorial 1. Let's create this. And for this tutorial we'll just look at what the start, of, start is when you actually get the document. What is inside it, what does the different things do, and then learn to write a very very simple setup. So here we have our document. As you can see, um, we have three views. We have the left view over here. It's kind of our uh, finder where we have all our documents, just like you have on Windows or Mac. This is where you have your documents, images, whatever you choose to use in this document. Then we will have our work area here. Uh, it might look a bit coded-ish at the moment. We have line numbers. We have some code here. We have some blue stuff, some black stuff. It'll get easier. Then we'll have the right side here where we have our PDF preview and we have our, you can choose between locks or recompile or download. Let's try and recompile this document. So, as you can see we got three errors in the beginning. Don't worry about this. I'll explain you why. And here's the PDF document of it. You can press download, we'll download PDF document. Small chat down here. Fortunately nobody else is online. It's nobody else in my document, that's why. So, let's look over here to the right. I can tell you that it's, there's a red dot here. It says the make title is wrong. Let's go through this and see why the make title is wrong. First, we'll have the document class. There's different documents you can choose from. Um, and normally, I use article. It's pretty good for just simple assignments, nothing fancy. You can use book if you want to make it two-sided reports. I do this for my report. It's very nice with different uh, margins, so when you actually print it out and glue it together, um, you will have a book kind of uh, thing. Then there's a report, yeah, article, letter, the slides, a lot of different stuff. Um, but for now, just use article, it's fine. Then uh, we have a use package here, and use package is just like if you're used to programming, it's just like include um, in Java or C or something and we include different stuff. This is how we include our typesetting. And it's just there, let it be, don't worry about it now. Then we create our title, we set our author and the date. Pretty simple stuff, right? Not a, not a lot of stuff to change, to change. Then we begin our document, and everything between the begin and end document is what we actually can see on the screen. So everything before the begin document, and everything after the end document, we can't see. So you might think, okay, but we want to see the title, the author, and the date. We can also do that because we call make title. We create the title, and the title is based on these three up here. And we have an error with the make title. That's because we're using an underscore. We can't do that. So let's remove the underscore and try and recompile it again. There we go. Looks much better. If you can see that one is actually on the same line here, if we try and set in the underscore again, and recompile it, you will see the underscore is kind of subscripted. And I'll get to that later on where we can talk about math, but right now, just forget about it, don't have underscores in the names. Then we create an introduction, or a section called introduction, and then we end the document. So as you can see, the introduction is called one introduction. Let's put some text in the introduction. There we go. Then let's try and uh, make a subsection, and you guessed, it's just a subsection. 
let's call it something like um, I don't know sub intro. This is a bad name. Let's fill some text in there. Then let's try and create a new headline. So let's this time one section. As you can see, it's autocomplete on it. It guesses what you want. Just press enter, plugs it in. Let's call this um, analysis. This is our analysis. Very, very good analysis. Let's fill in some text and try and recompile again. And here, as you can see, you already have a really, really nice looking document with very, very little changes to the default uh, blank document. Um, you have your headline set up up here, or your title. Then you have your section, your subsection, and your section again. But inside the analysis, we want more sections. So therefore, we create another subsection and call it theory. Fill in some text. Let's create another subsection again. This time we can call it um, art. I don't know. Fill in some text. But now we want something below art. So therefore, we do a sub sub section. And the sub sub section of art could be uh, no, image. It's called painting. Fill in some text. And let's try and recompile this. And as you can see, shallow take is really quick at recompiling. You get the full document right ahead. If you have a lot of images in it, it will be slower. But that's mostly because your internet connection is slow at uploading the images and downloading them again. So as you can see, we have the introduction, the sub intro, the analysis. Then we have a, a section break here, or a paragraph break, sorry. Then we have a theory, art, and painting. And you can see here, the numbers are really nicely, um, how can you say it, set up. Um, and this will also be shown when we um, set our table of content. So let's try and make a, a section again. And let's call it the end. Fill in some text, let's fill in some more. And let's see, then we have end document. So let's go up and try after our title, want to have our table of content. So we write table of, table of contents and we recompile it. And there we have it, nice table of content, nicely set up headlines and easy to read text. So if you know, for example, with the date, what date is going to be, do you want January 2014? Do you want something else? Do you want it to update automatically each day? I like to have slash today, because then it will just give me today's date. There we have it, January 23rd, 2014. This will automatically update every time you recompile it. So if you work on a document and you recompile it, it will always have the new state you worked in. It's very, very useful if you have to hand in something and just want to have some date, but you don't want to have the first date or maybe forget to change it to the last date. This automatically does that. Does that. So this is the first um, video and I'll continue on with a bit of more advanced stuff later on. We will get to math, tables, uh, figures. We'll probably do figures next. Um, setting up margins, making your own template, classes, whatever. Let's see how it goes. So um, hope you enjoyed and see you next time.